Welcome to Randec webinar. My name is Johan Lasholm and I'm one of the main owners of Randec, uh, chairman of our mother company Nordiska Trust and uh, marketing manager at Randec. Today we will host a webinar showing you our entry level machinery. Uh, we will show you a complete concept we call house factory startup concept. It's a cost efficient way of setting up a house factory. Let us have a look at today's agenda. Uh, point number one will be a presentation of the house factory startup concept. Point number two will be a demonstration of the house factory startup concept. We will use the machinery in our production um, and show you how, how, show you how, them, how they work. Uh, the last point will be a Q&A session. Um, you can at any time during the webinar post questions. Uh, either use the online tool or uh, email at webinar at randec.com. And we will do our best to answer the questions. Uh, all right, let's begin with point number one in the webinar. Welcome, Christian. The stage is yours. Thank you so much, Johan, and thank you so much for joining us. My name is Christian. I'm the sales manager at Randec. I will do a brief overview of Randec as a company, and then also a technical overview of um, the products we're highlighting here today. And uh, yeah, that's before we're handing over again to uh, to Johan to actually see the. The machines in action. Yes. All right. So, um, hopefully, many of you already know about us. Ronik has been in the business for many years, since the 40s actually. Uh, over the years, Ronik has been focused on being a favored supplier to the uh, prefabricating or the company's prefabricating houses. Um, and we've been doing this by continuously developing machines and uh, bring innovation to the industry, in many cases together with our customers. Uh, everything is done here in Sweden, in uh, two sites. We are at the headquarters here in Falkenberg, on the west coast of Sweden. And we also have a sister company, Randek Robotics, in, um, in Arvika, further up in Sweden. We do everything from developing and uh, producing and also uh, testing here in Sweden. Uh, we are in many different countries, in 40, over 40 countries around the world. Uh, a lot of what, what you do is being exported. So we have a lot of knowledge of uh, domestic market, but also markets around the world. Uh, when it comes to product range, Randek is, um, is mainly built up by soles, wall floor roof lines, uh, roof truss systems and butterfly tables. Automation level. Uh, varies from uh, manual or machine-aided production up to uh, fully automated. Uh, in this webinar, we focus on the uh, what we call the startup factory, but it's uh, the machines all caters to uh, existing customers uh, moving into more of machine-aided uh, production uh, to um, yeah, be able to produce if efficiently and with high quality. Uh, it can also be in terms of scaling up a factory, scaling up a production, or as a complement to existing automated uh, machine lines. Uh, we're doing this by focusing on uh, function, lead time, and pricing. And uh, what you see in the presentation here is uh, a picture showing mostly most of the different uh, product ranges within this. So we have the cut saw the uh, press system for um, roof trusses and butterfly tables with different accessories. So, uh, the uh, uh, cut saw, the SP720, is a semi-automatic cut saw. Uh, it is well known in the industry to be a reliable and accurate uh, tool. Uh, it's been on the market for a long time and it's been continuously developed with our customers, we focus on function and, uh, and safety, uh, first, first and foremost. Um, it's a base configuration. It does everything you, you will need in a truss factory or in a, a house uh, a factory for building walls and floors, gable ends, and so on, building elements. Uh, but we also 
offer a lot of options, add-ons and features uh, to this concept to cater to customers that would like to uh, add more function or uh, put a specific task into this uh, section of the uh, factory. Um, so in the in-feed side we have timber pickers. On the way into the saw unit we have splicing presses, milling unit, drilling unit, uh, label printers and on the outfit side uh, we uh, offer uh, different solutions for timber stackers as well. For the uh, truss system we offer the uh, NT press system. Uh, it's a very flexible system that uh, basically can manage to produce uh, or help produce any kind of uh, truss design. We do this by uh, um, uh, fixtures, uh, movable fixtures that we can fix with magnets on a magnetic, uh, magnetically on a steel floor. Uh, on top of those you add the uh, pieces for the uh, truss and the press plates and you go around with a C-press suspending in a crane system and press each joint. Uh, to, to further help and to, to uh, minimize the, uh, um, the uh, setup time, you also have a laser projection system to help you. So to, uh, to have the optimal press and crane system, we always take a look at the conditions in the existing factory. Uh, we take a look at the uh, plates, pre uh, nail plates that you commonly use and also the um, commonly most commonly produced roof trusses as well. And this boils down to, uh, to a crane system that you, that you need. We have very different from wall mounted, uh, column mounted or overhead crane systems. Uh, in terms of C-press, it boils down to uh, a specific press force from 23 tons to 50 tons. And for fixtures, it's, uh, it's a matter of how many and which size, which we, of course, help every, our, our customers with. Um, as an option as well, as I mentioned, we also have laser projection systems where, we, uh, where you can project the outlines of the truss and help you set up the system between different truss designs. Uh, for wall panels, uh, building elements, floor, ceilings, roofs, gable ends, we have our butterfly system, BS20 tables. It's also a very flexible system. It is, uh, it is a tool for producing a high quality product in the end, uh, very effectively. And in, uh, you know, it's, a, it's a focus on getting uh, equipment on site very fast as well for our customers doing the job. Um, we, we can do different configurations with each, each uh, table uh, in this um, product range, which uh, makes it possible for us to to have uh, solutions for startup companies or even uh, well-established companies producing a lot of product today, uh, but looking for having more of a line concept or increase the efficiency in the factory. Uh, so within each table, uh, you can have the base configuration of just a price and receiver, but you can also do configurations of uh, bigger lines uh, how many tables you, you would like to have. And we do this by having uh, different options for width adjustment. It can be manual or hydraulic or with pneumatic clamping. Uh, we can have extended width adjustment up to 3650 millimeters. We can add rollers to the tables, either fixed or re retractable, so it's folded down into the, uh, into the tables. We can also add air supplies to make sure you can connect your tools and, um, and on top of that we can also uh, provide our customers with um, uh, options for material handling such as um, uh, material tables and holders for rolls for membranes and foil. We also have a clamping cylinder to, uh, to make sure we can do angled uh, elements in, uh, within these tables. Uh, for uh, notches or, or cutouts in the in studs for wall elements to be able to make uh, lintels, uh, we have a specialized tool. This is possible with the SP720 uh, uh, as well. Uh, but if you don't want to do it as efficiently as possible, we have a specialized tool for this 
the uh, notching saw. Uh, it's a very easy to use uh, tool, very fast tool. It's a cycle time of about five seconds. And it's a small piece of equipment that you can move around in your factory, bring out when you need it, and so on. So, and on top of all this, the uh, main products that we, the product lines that we offer, we also have a set of accessories. And these are made up of, uh, of um, products for logistics within the factory, but also specialized uh, tasks in the, uh, in the factory, in the process of building wall elements. Uh, so we have material trolleys, uh, roof truss trolley, and also a handheld press for nail plates. So you can, you can splice together pieces directly at the table. It's a handheld, air-driven piece of equipment. Uh, the, hydraulics, the hydraulics for the press unit, which makes it possible to press up to 10 tons. Right, thank you so much for, uh, for listening. If you have any sales related or technical questions, please feel free to, uh, to contact us. I will now hand over to, uh, to you one to actually show you this equipment in action. Thank you. Welcome to demonstration of Randek House Factory startup concept. Uh, with me here, I have Martin Bjerring, our product coordinator. How are you today, Martin? Yeah, fine, thank you. Good, great to hear. Uh, so, Martin, what machines are included in the House Factory startup concept? Yeah, we have uh, different types of machine. Uh, in the far end, we got a cut saw uh, that's uh, in the SPL 720 series. Mm -hmm. And behind me, we have uh, the BS20 uh, tables in the BS system. Okay. And the behind you one here, we got the MT press system okay. uh, for roof trusses. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the middle, we got the notching saw ah, notching for uh, special cuts. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So uh, we are actually looking at this setup of machines, and it's an entire house factory in quite uh, limited space. Yes. Well, it's uh, really impressive, really impressive. Uh, so, uh, Martin, when talking to customers about the startup uh, concept, what, uh, what are the general comments you get? Yeah, this is a robust product and is cost effective. And uh, the, the total cost of this is uh, less money than uh, the production of uh, one house. Wow, so an entire house factory for less money than a single house cost? Yes. Wow, that's really impressive. Uh, I'm eager to start the demonstration, so where do we begin? Yeah, we'll go over to our colleague, Johan, in the far end, with, uh, in the cut saw. Okay, yeah. let's go. Shall we take this with us? Okay, <laughs> let's do that. <laughs> Okay, so here we have our service technician, uh, Johan. Hello. Hello. Uh, he, was, he will help us to demonstrate uh, the saw today. Um, but before we begin, uh, so uh, Martin, here we have the SPL 728 uh, crosscut saw. Um, so can you tell us about the saw and uh, what parts are included? Yeah, uh, this one is the is saw in the 720 series. Uh, over here we have the infeed bench. Yes. We can uh, load in your material. Mm -hmm. uh, and here you have the sewing unit. This unit is in uh, two different uh, types: uh, 728 and uh, 722. Okay. The difference is that the blade can angle in the 728. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so otherwise, two, it's two different saw units. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, oh, behind me. We have the outfit bench with the uh, automatic length uh, holder. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, but um, so this is, uh, I guess, uh, kind of like a standard saw. Yeah. Uh, in what ways can the saw be customized? Uh, you can change the length of the infit bench. Okay. To a different type of length depending on incoming material. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can also change the outfit bench to with the same okay. dimensions. Yeah. Okay. And uh, does it come with like a milling unit and splicing press? 
Yeah, you can add a splicing press, uh, a milling unit, and a drilling unit. Okay. Depending okay. on. Okay, sounds like a very versatile and flexible saw. Yeah, it's a very flexible. Mm. But if you want to uh, increase the capacity, do you need to buy one more saw, or can you like upgrade? The... Yeah, you can add a, a, a infill picker, so you can okay. pick up material yes. from the material pile. Mm. So you have you, you don't have to lift it up by yourself. Okay. And mm. also you can place a stacker in the far end here. Okay. So you can pick out the material. Mm. Okay. Ah, very interesting. Okay, uh, shall we begin uh, the demonstration, Johan? Yes. So, um, first of all, we're going to cut uh, a truss that I have already prepared. And okay. did, I will say this is the way that uh, most customers use the saw running from a file. We can go from, whoops, we can go from the main page, load from file. And here we have it pre prepared. This is all the pieces that we're going to need for this small truss. So we can press them and we can see how they look. Okay. Um, and um, the more angles and um, yeah, the more angles you have uh, and different lengths, yes. the more benefit to do it from a file. It will mm. save you time. Mm. Uh, otherwise, you have to manually put in the degrees and the lengths on okay. every piece. But here it's it's already prepared. But you have the possibility to do it manually as well. You can do it manually, just okay. uh, fill it in from a paper. Okay, yeah. Um, mm. You have that option too. Mm. Martin, can you describe the, the process behind the file and the, the, the uh, transfer from CAD, fi CAD software to the saw? Yeah, uh, the Many of the roof truss producer softwares, yes. uh, where they draw the roof trusses, they can uh, send the data to uh, the saw unit. Mm -hmm. So okay. they have a little converter file they have to yes. add in, in the system. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then it's converted and go directly to the saw system. Okay, it's so like an automatic uh, process uh, from the software, and then the saw will set up automatically according to file. Yes, and then the operator have to load the file here. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. All right, uh, let's uh, begin uh, cutting. Yeah, let's make the first cut. So we start with this one. We press the blade. And, uh, oh. Glasses on? Yeah, yeah. Safety Sa glasses on. Safety first. We start the blade. Yes. So that was a clear cut. Yeah, a clear cut, yes. You see that the bench is automatically changed. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Surface. Yeah. So we load the wood piece to the material wagon. So that was the, the first piece. Yeah, that was the first piece. Great. And uh, you want to do, of course, you, you do as many as you need, and then you. Okay. Uh, you need one more. Yeah. Uh, and also, uh, that, uh, you can change the language. 
Okay. The system. Okay. Different ty types of uh, languages. Ah. It's not the o not only Swedish language. No, it's an international store, okay. so uh, they have it. Impressive. For the many markets. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, so that was kind of the automatic way of using the saw when you uh, when it sets up according to file. Yes. Yeah. So, okay. yeah, we we made three different pieces, and yes. uh, yeah, it's very easy to just. Can you demonstrate uh, how the saw uh, operates if you do it uh, in the manual mode as well? Yes. <coughs> um. Maybe we can do uh, this, uh, the most complex, like a hip band uh, cat. Yeah. So, um, if you want to do it manual, this is the main page. We go select cut type. And here, we kind of design how we want it to look. So, this is the timber from above, and this is from the side, if you want a tilted cut. So, right now, it's just a straight cut. Yes. If we want to do the... Um, the hip end, as we call it. We want to have it tilted. So we're going to start with a straight cut, and then do the so-called hip end. Okay. As you see, uh, if you do it manually, it's, you have to press a little bit more. Yes. But, uh, otherwise, uh, if you do it uh, directly from the CAD system, yes. the machine has prepared everything, so you don't have to press all the buttons. Correct. I understand. So, let's try and make this cut. Yes. And you also see that uh, the material is fixed in the right position. Yeah. So we have a Draggers and drag it into the side. Is that uh, crucial for a uh, high quality? Yeah, sometimes the incoming material is a uh, little bit bent. Yeah. And then you get the help from uh, this kitchen uh, Normally, I guess you uh, connect this saw to uh, some dust extraction system. Yeah, we don't have a dust extraction in connected now. No. But otherwise, we have a. It's in the end here. Yeah. In the back. Yeah. Yeah. And you see, the blade can be rotating around. Yes. So now it's going in that direction. Yes. Actually, cutting three wood pieces at one time. What's the what's the purpose of doing that? To save time, be more effective. Okay. You can do it three at a time. It's uh, as long as we are straight cut or not not too low angle. It's yeah. Fine to do three at a time. Okay. That's all right. <laughs> Yeah. 
right. Uh, so that was kind of uh, how you maximize the capacity with the saw. Can you show us uh, the maximum uh, length the cut uh, the saw can make? So if we have a, a really low angle that uh, the blade can't, it can't make it once. It has to come up twice okay. or, or even three times. If you do it at the end of the timber, it will do automatically, the length stop will move, and then the blade comes up a second time. Okay. If we want to do it at the front, we need help to position the timber from the length stop. Mm -hmm. Let's try that. See we we try the hard one. Yeah. yeah. We try the hard one. And the length stop coming to help position the timber. Impressive cut you just made. Yeah. All right. But uh, as you said, normally we have a dust extraction system connected to yeah. the saw. I understand. Yeah, we re highly recommend that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, thank you for the demonstration. Thank you. Anything else you would like to add here, Martin? No, I think you um, have show show us everything. Okay. So. Uh... Let's build, uh, let's build a trust then. Yeah. Can so, you help us with that as well? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Shall we go over there? Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Shall we bring something with us? Yeah, we yeah. can take the material right yeah. Okay, Martin, so uh, this is the Ent uh, press system, uh, production system for roof presses. Yes. Um, so, can you tell us about the system? What, uh, what do we have in front of us here? Yeah, the main heart is uh, this uh, the C press. Okay. This is here. Yes. Uh, that use this one for pressing the plates. Okay, yes. And uh, this one we have in different sizes. Mm -hmm. The smallest one is from uh, 23 tons yes. up to 50 tons. 50 tons, okay, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, how many tons? This is uh, 23. 23, all right. And uh, you have also two different types of uh, function here, so you can, but you can press your pistol grip or this with your frame. Ah, okay, frame and pistol. What do you prefer? Yeah, this one. Okay. I think this is the best one. All right, yes. And uh, then we have some gantry system, I guess? Yeah, uh, yeah. you can lift it up in different types of uh, gantry system. Mm -hmm. So here you have a pillar mounted, uh, and you have wall mounted, and you can have a, a railed in... Uh, so oh, like a conveyor system? Yeah, conveyor system. Okay. So, uh, and uh, you had, can combine this conveyor system in different types also. Ah, okay. So different types okay. there. It's like five gantry systems? Yeah, five different systems. Five, yeah. It sounds uh, flexible and versatile. Yeah. All right, C press and gantry, and then what else? Yeah, and uh, then we have over us here, we have a laser system. Okay. So we have laser projection, they project the trusses. Mm -hmm. So the same file that they yeah. use when we saw before in the cutting. Yes. Uh, the same file they can use. Here. Mm -hmm. So if uh, they have sent the data to the saw, mm -hmm. can also send the da same data 
to this uh, laser projection system. Ah, okay. So you know where to position these uh, fixtures. Is it yeah. uh, like so you just move them? Is it easy to move? Yes. Yeah, there's fixtures. You have different types. Yes. Yeah, and uh, they are fixed with magnets in this door. Mm -hmm. So okay. you have to unleash it okay. first. Okay. Okay. Unleash, unleash, unleash the magnet. Yeah, unleash the mag yeah, magnet. <laughs> Now it's uh, very easy to move around. Then uh, if you want, just want to do fasten it, you just like uh, yeah, unleash that one. So, so yeah. and then then it's difficult to move. Yes. Okay, okay, I understand the the function. All right. Um, okay, so shall we produce a truss? Where do we have you on? Yeah, you on? Can you help us? I can help you. Hello again, you. Hello again. Can you please help us to produce a roof truss? Yes. So uh, we have prepared a little bit. Okay. But um, yeah. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna um, light the laser up yes. so I can see where to place this fixture, the mm -hmm. table. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna start up the laser. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we switch on the laser. Laser is running. Yeah, and over here we have this uh, controlling box for the laser. So uh, all the lasers are connected to this one. All right. Okay. Okay. So now uh, we have a laser system activated, I guess. Yes. Okay. So, so now uh, you want have to prepare. We have prepared a little bit of the jigs here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, now we take uh, this uh, fixture and place yes. it in the right position. And okay. you see here uh, on the floor. Yes, yes, I can see. So you see some marks, mm -hmm. the laser mm -hmm. projection here. So you one here will uh, move that in. Yes. So, so this is the way to use the laser is to place the fixtures in the right position. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so you have a easy first step. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the, this indicates where the nail plate shall be placed. Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. But okay. often they don't have a truss in it, just in this case now. Okay. Okay. So this is uh, so prepared. Now, yeah, so mm -hmm. now you want to place this one in, uh, so you have this in a, a mid position. Yes. So it's easy, can go in with a press later on. Okay. Yes. Uh, you want to cut up some wood before? Yeah, so, so it, it's uh, it's prepared. Uh, some of it is already in place, but uh, the timber is pre-cut, so yes. we have it ready. Yes. So, let's see if we can get it in place. So you see here the material wagon is uh, nice to have. Ah, very convenient. Yeah. I see that. So if you make many sim uh, of the same trusses, yes. then you have uh, prepared all the fixtures in the right position and you just pick the material and place it in. Ah, like a template. You, yeah. and. Uh, you one can also switch layers. So now we see where you should place the plates. Okay. But later on, he can show you where the linings for uh, the web and uh, the joists are. Okay. Okay. Like you did a good job with the cutting, you one. Yeah, hopefully. Yes. And we and, have. Uh, yeah. Also, you want to have uh, some uh, fixture pucks, pucks ready, okay. and you can use this one to press it in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now most of it was prepared. So now it's like laying a puzzle yeah. because uh, this has been prepared. Mm -hmm. uh, so I mean, the first time you set it up might take a little while, but then yeah. it's. Should be easy to just place it. Yes. And we have uh, this equipment. 
the, those round supports mm -hmm. and this eccentric if we have if we need to force the timber yeah. if it's bent to something we need to force it and we also have the quick grips to hold it down if it's uh, just to keep it in place or uh, yeah if we need to force it down okay yeah, but can you sh show us uh, also uh, to change the layers between yes. in the laser? Uh, I will get the remote. So, all right. Yes, uh, and uh, the plates. Uh, you have truss plates here. So uh, then you can use the laser to place the plates? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the bottom plate you are preparing, putting in place before you put the timber on. Yes. But that's already prepared, so... Based on the laser as well? Based on the laser, so okay. you, yeah. you see the lines that mm -hmm. the laser uh, projects on yeah. this uh, plate here. Plate, yes. And then you know where to place it. Yeah. Then you put the timber on, as we have did. Are done and um, now we're ready to place the the upper plate. Yeah. Okay. And now we have also activated the the lines for the placement of the wood. Yes. You can see here. So now we are projecting everything, both the timber and the plates. Mm -hmm. We can okay. choose to project the plates or the timber or both. Okay. Yes. So. It's, right. it's really good to have these uh, lines if you have a really complex truss. Mm -hmm. Then uh, you can use this to see where you should put all those small parts. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, okay. the, the laser makes the setup time much shorter, as I understand. Yeah. That's the, yeah. the main purpose. All right, then let's start pressing. All right. So if you didn't have the laser, you need to measure where to position the nail plates. I guess. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and as you see, uh, now uh, first you use the laser to place the plate underneath. Mm -hmm. And then he used the laser to place it on the top. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Now he takes the press. Yeah. And he's going into the fixture. Mm -hmm. And uh, the top side is moving down and the bottom side is pressing up the bottom ah, okay. Okay. plate there. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. Yeah. So, now it's finished. So this is, uh, yeah. we have now a 23 ton press. Yeah. Why would you need a, a bigger pressing force than 23 ton? Yeah, sometimes they have a... They replace really large ones. Yes. And uh, they have a, another type of wood. Okay. So uh, then you can need uh, that press. And okay. Different market also re require different press forces. Okay. As you see here, this uh, was moved a little bit, but because of the laser, you can see, still see that uh, this was on the same place anyway. So otherwise, if you didn't have the laser, you have to measure everything up again. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, thank you for the demonstration. Yeah. Um, very impressive system. Uh, is there anything uh, you would like to highlight with the system before we continue? Yeah, uh, this system here, uh, uh, you can add how many fixtures you like. So yes. you can expand. So you more complex trusses. 
you can place more fixtures. Okay, so you simply add more fixtures to, yeah. to build the system. And the same is uh, if you have a larger roof trusses, you can, if you have the, the conveyor version, yes. then uh, you can also build longer trusses and uh, the laser system is expandable. Also. Okay. Mm. So uh, there you have some features. Okay, okay. Yeah, well, you won. Where is you won? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm here, I'm here. Oh, yeah. you won. Can you yeah. uh, once again help us? Yeah. As you see, it's uh, quite dangerous, so you have to have the lid on. Okay, okay. But do we actually have one more saw in the uh, startup uh, house factory system. Is it needed to have two saws in yeah. one house factory? Yeah, this one is one for uh, special cuts. Some okay. They do on some markets. All right. So uh, then it's speed up the production. Ah, okay. So it's okay. quite good to have it. Ah, okay. So to make uh, like a special cut. Yes. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, what are we looking at here? Yeah, well, other than greasing it, you don't really need greasing or cleaning it. The, the, um, you have it closed, so okay. you can adjust yeah. everything without opening it. Okay. So, okay. But uh, timber comes in here, mm -hmm. and we have um, yeah, one blade cutting uh, this direction. The other one that direction at the same time, so we okay to make like a notch yes. in, in the stud. All right, and um, um, to adjust the measure, it's it's manual, so you just okay. Now you're setting it up for different uh, dimensions. Yeah. Okay. So um... so now uh, we will make the part for the wall. Okay. That we will do later on, right. isn't it, Juan? Yes. So then he just move it in the right position. Mm. There we go. And now we, you can see that it's really fast to do this uh, cutting here. This special cut? Yeah. Okay. We just start the blades. Yeah, and also this one you need to connect to dust extraction yes, system. Yes. Okay. But now I fully understand why it's needed to have two saws in the startup factory. Um, based on, I mean, if you need to have uh, this type of cuts, and it's yeah. uh, extremely short cycle time. Mm -hmm. Yes, you want. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Where uh, where do we go next? Yeah, now we're going over to the BS uh, system, okay. the butterfly system. Yes. There are uh, turning tables for making wall elements and uh, gable ends. Yes. And uh, Johan and his colleague will uh, help us to make a small wall. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Okay, so uh, this is the BS20 butterfly table system. Yes, it is. Uh, so we're standing in front of a appraiser table and we have a receiver table over there. Okay. Uh, can you uh, give us a walkthrough about the functions from the different tables? Yes. The possibilities? Uh, so see, uh, this one here is an uh, uh, appraiser table. Yeah. And uh, we also have this uh, squaring. 
you can square the element. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you see this one here, so you have a beam on this side. Uh, and also, if we look at this one here, this is a tool that you can use for clamp. And uh, not we don't have any clamping hole on this uh, table. So uh, otherwise, we have a hole beam placed over here, and we'll place down this one in the hole beam. Okay. And uh, you can use that to do uh, gable ends and uh, other non-rectangular forms. Okay. Ah. So the hole beams is like an uh, option for the tables. Yes. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. And, um... and and also we have this uh, tool here. And this is a NT10. This is a, a press that you can pre press plates, similar as the, we saw before. But uh, this one is uh, more manually moved, so you can press plates on uh, bottom plate or top plate. So, okay. and it runs on pneumatic, as I understand. Yeah, it's a pneumatic powered, but uh, it's hydraulics also involved. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, what else? Does the table come in different lengths, or is it yeah, like a standard? Yeah, different length uh, from six meters and up in steps to 12 meters. Mm -hmm. uh, and okay. also you have, uh, as you see, a top here, we have a material table. Yes. That we can drag. Mm -hmm. Like try it? Yeah, try it. Quite so easy can, to move. Yeah, so you can place the material on this in the far end here, or in that end, and you can drag it with you when you're building the element. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. And, and also, uh, I forget to mention, when you turn the element, you have pneumatic cylinders here. So first, when you square it up, you clamp it in with pneumatic cylinders. When you will turn it over, you least unleash them, and the element can fall over to the opposite side. Okay, I understand. Uh, and you have pneumatic clamping. Do you have other systems for you clamping? You can also have it in hydraulics. Okay, hydraulics. So, well. all right. Mm -hmm. Depending on uh, how we want to do it. Yes. So. All right. Um, and uh, you have here. You have two tables. Can you only buy one table, for example, or? So this is a pair, we call it BS20, but uh, if you want to place a table before that not have an uprising function, you can place it here uh, and do the same thing, but not the uprising. Then uh, you also have uh, pop-up rollers placed here and on that side, so you can lift it up and move the element station okay. to station. Oh. So ba you basically divide the working process in one table on two instead to increase the capacity. Yeah, so you have uh, easier to get in the material around. So uh, maybe in the first step you make the framing and sheets on this, this station, etc. Okay. Ah, interesting. Mm, looks like a good uh, starting system. Yeah, shall we go over to the end here? Yes. Uh, and also, I forgot to mention that uh, the tables can be included with uh, air connectors, so you can place your power tools uh, ah, okay. on okay. Uh, So on air places. connection directly on the table, I see you have one yeah. uh, connection over there. So you don't have to connect to the walls uh, and drag cables around. Ah, the hoses. Uh, hoses, yes. yeah. Ah, okay. Convenient. Yeah. Okay, and uh, what do we have here? This yeah, this is the hydraulic turning system. Okay. So yes. this one here, over here we control the turning process. Okay. Yes. With this here, mm -hmm. this can be placed in this side or the other side, mm -hmm. or uh, separately placed. But yeah. this is standardized versions standing here. Yeah. But good uh, visible overview of the tables here. Yeah, it's really good to see. Uh, the turning process, so that's why we place it in this position. Okay, yes. All uh, right. And also, uh, sometimes they use Tyvek mm -hmm. in the process, so we have okay. this uh, 
for, uh, first step in a, a holder for yes. place rolls of Tyvek or uh, mm -hmm. different type of membranes. Okay. And also uh, you have a, a like a cradle. It's a other other function that you lay the the roll in it. Ah, okay, so like the more advanced version of yeah. the. Yeah. Okay. But this is uh, good for startup. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Shall we uh, start the production? Yeah, I think okay. so. Okay, guys, you can uh, start the production. Many thanks for the demonstration. I do think that our audience now fully understand what the House Factory startup concept is about. Uh, before we end this demonstration, is there anything special you would like to highlight for our viewers? Yeah, as I said before, the cost of this uh, line, uh, this concept, is uh, lower than uh, the production of one house. Yeah. The if you want to grow with your factory you can add more tables before and after the BA systems mm -hmm. and also uh, the source systems you can also change some parts and build out that one for higher level of capacity yeah okay so it's uh, cost effective and you can uh, expand the machinery uh, if you want to grow your business mm -hmm. yeah yeah makes sense um, okay many thanks yeah. thank you Welcome back to the studio. Um, we hope you enjoyed the demonstration. Now we will continue with a Q&A session. So Lisa, have we received any questions? Yes, we have received a few. And uh, the first one is, I am a user of your truss system MT and uh, considering buying the saw and lap laser system. How do I transfer my blueprints to these machines? Okay guys. Anyone can answer that question? Uh, I can do actually. It's, okay. uh, it's simple and of course we will help you with this. Uh, but from your CAD files <laughs> you generate uh, CAT files for your CAT saw and DXF files for your laser system. Okay, thank you Henrik. Uh, okay, uh, next question. Yes. Um, thank you for the demonstration. There's one person here. Do Randic provide a service that can help optimize the layout and application of these systems? Anyone? Well, yes, uh, we're talking about the uh, layout of the factory and so on. It only says yes, mm -hmm. that's how I interpret Yes, we can it. absolutely help with that. Uh, we have the competence in-house to uh, to help out with uh, basic layout and uh, to get with the customer, yes, uh, we bring in information and do the best layout we can provide. Thank and the correct machinery. Uh, next question. I have landed a big project which starts in mid-August and I need to order a cut saw and butterfly tables. And I am cu curious to know if you are able to deliver in time. Uh. Anyone? I can take that uh, okay. question. Yes, we are. We, we are still able to uh, keep good delivery times on these products. So between 10 to 12 weeks from order and delivery. Thank you, Ula. Uh, as an element manufacturer, it's vital to avoid downtime, 
downtime? Can, how can I minimize this? Yeah, yeah I can answer. Um, well, uh, the machines, of course, are well built from the, from the start, but with any machine, it comes down to maintenance, to be able to have a high reliability and availability machines. And uh, yeah, we offer that service at Rundek. So spare parts, uh, continuous maintenance, scheduled ones, and uh, yeah, updates as well. Okay, next okay. one. Um, how long of a lifespan does your products have? I can take that one. Um, the product's lifespan, I will say, is very good. We have, for example, we have one customer that he has um, three Rundek uh, 728s uh, as his main source, and uh, two of them are more than 20 years old, and they are still running. And um, you still see sometimes source even from the late 80s. They not as efficient as a new one, but they're still running. So as long as you take care of your machine and do the, the maintenance, uh, like Christian said, then they should last long. Mm. Ties they into win. the uh, yeah. availability of spare parts and continuous maintenance, yeah. as I said, as we yeah. provide you. Mm. Thank you, Johan. Okay, the next one. Um, I find the house factory startup concept interesting. Can you please tell me why the tell me the benefits of why I should use you as my complete supplier? Um, yeah, why? If I can. Yes. Yeah, we have uh, been producing uh, quality machines for the prefab wood industry for a long time now. Uh, we offer you service and support, so I will say that we are definitely a complete supplier. Thank you. Okay, no more questions, Lisa. Okay, well then we say thank you for uh, attending our webinar and uh, hope to see you soon again. Thank you. Going deep, no, I won't drag you down